So as I pray for our national leaders, I want to start with our president, but I'm going to end with the most important leaders, you and me. For in America, we are the government, not our elected leaders. Amen. So let's pray. Father, I would do want to pray. Thank you so much for this country. This, this country, America, is such a special place. You know, Father, you made a promise to Israel that you plan on keeping. America made a promise to you at our founding. You owe us nothing. We owe you everything. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray this as the generation that the baton has been passed to since our founding in 1776 and our Constitution's ratification in 1787, as the generation that now holds the baton, Father, we, we are going to hold the baton of history in one hand and your word in the other, and we're going to lift them both high. Amen. And the Father, if America does go down one day, it won't be on our watch. For Father, we're going to stand vigilant. We're going to be together and we're going to be strong in your name. We begin to pray for our President Barack Obama. Father, we pray that you will touch his heart and save him today. Father, we pray that you will touch Biden's heart, that you will save him today. Father, we pray that you'll touch uh, the Senate and the, and, and the U.S. Congress, Father. For those that don't know you there, Father, we pray that you will touch and heal them and save them today, Father, in this moment, even as we're praying. Father, turn our nation back to you. Father, touch our heart, the hearts of our leaders. Father, prick their hearts so that they will keep your love that they say they have in the context of also your word. For, Father, your love is only implemented in the context of your word. So, Father, we thank you, Father, that you have brought us together as the real government. These are our elected officials. They work for us. But, Father, but we work for you. Father, I pray that everybody within the sound of this sound system and beyond will understand that you work through each individual standing here and then together as individuals and as states, we make up the United States of America. And so, Father, it's really not those that in Congress are our president that stands in the need of the most prayer today. It is the people that are standing here, Father, that you will give us the strength, and you'll give us the courage, and you'll give us the grace to be able to stand tall there in these days when people want to take us away from you and from the founding of this country, that which was based on your word. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us through our founders in this country the ability to gather together in the name of your name and but also in the, in the in the name of religious freedom freedom of speech freedom of assembly and father may we stand on these freedoms that it, paul aptly said at the beginning that we receive from you and stand tall together as we see you bring this nation back to you Father, we believe that you can bring America back through us. We stand united in one truth, is that you are God. We are not. You are righteous. We are not. You are holy. We are not. We need you. And we know you're going to be there. Father, thank you for this opportunity to gather tonight. We pray for the naps. We pray for all those who are standing in the gap for us. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.